Hey everybody, welcome back to h &S Collectibles. This is Cody. Uh, so it's the weekly haul video and a day late. I'm sorry for that. I was knocked on my butt most of the weekend um, after having gotten my second vaccine. So uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, I'll advise everybody, but uh, be ready to take a day or two off after you do it. It, it can hit you kind of hard, or at least it did me. Uh, but I still think it's better than the alternative. But anyway, enough of that. Get to the haul video. I thought if I waited and did the haul video today, something that I had ordered would show up. But no, of course not. It has left. It has left the same postal uh, uh, location five different times in the last twelve hours. So I know it's not going to get here today. <laughs> um, so it'll just end up being on next week's haul. Uh, but at any rate, um, just jumping right in, we'll just start with what's on top, even though he's one of the cooler items. Um, but my uh, spinacher from uh, Waxworks Records showed up. I ordered the uh, uh, They Live Politician spinacher, and here he is. Up close, I'm going to do a separate video later uh, and show him actually spinning on the table, but... There he is. You just set him down on the spindle. He does have some weight to him. I don't know how much weight. I'll probably put him on my little uh, cooking scale later and see what he does weigh. I don't know if he weighs enough to be considered a, a record weight. Uh, but anyway, very cool. Got him. Got Michael Myers on the way, or at least ordered. They haven't shipped him yet, but hopefully it's soon. Uh, three movies came in the mail this week from the Amazon buy two get one free sale and we were a bad influence on John. John got in on it as well but my buy two get one free uh, features were Deep Star 6, the uh, Kino Lorber um, Blu-ray with slipcover. Um, like this movie, always enjoyed it. It Leviathan, uh, The Abyss. Uh, I ordered uh, the Scream Factory edition of Slither, and it came with a slipcover. I was kind of surprised since this one has been out for a while, but uh, a fun movie. I hadn't watched it in a while. I had not watched it in long enough that I didn't remember much of anything besides the ending. So, good to watch it again. A lot of fun. And Graveyard Shift. Didn't have the slip, but still the Scream Factory release. Um... So Graveyard Shift, I always said I like this movie and watching it again after a while, I think I gave it too much credit. Um, Graveyard Shift, I guess now when I watch it, feels like it wasn't sure what it wanted to be. It tried to do a lot of, I think, character development and didn't do it very well. Um, it just showed us a lot of what the characters were doing not what their motivations were and then suddenly we're rushed into the basement of the mill and the monsters attacking so that aside it's still fun i like the creature effects uh glad to have it in the collection um the day i got my vaccine i stopped by a little uh, uh indie record store and picked up a few things he had so he had some record store day leftovers and i got this uh 45 of hootie and the blowfish covering losing my religion and really like that version i didn't know they had covered that uh probably the best pickup there though is this uh goblin's greatest hit so this was a record store day special this will be a colored vinyl uh tuesday video later but Goblin's Greatest Hits, 75 to 79. It's got some selections from Suspiria, Dawn of the Dead. Um, thought it was well worth picking up. Uh, and also picked up Beverly Hills Cop 2. I've got Beverly Hills Cop 1, both the soundtrack and the score. This is just the soundtrack, not the score for Part 2, so I figured I needed that. Uh, and then let's see, also in the mail, got this off eBay because I always had uh, the more than complete Hitchhiker's Guide, which was everything up to uh, uh, Young Zaphod Plays It Safe. It did not include Mostly Harmless. And then Mostly Harmless came out, so I had them in two separate sets. Loaned it to a friend of mine. He got it wet. It fell apart. It was leather-bound. It was a really nice addition. It goes for 
a fair amount on eBay now. Uh, but instead, I found this Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide, also leather-bound, um, that has Mostly Harmless included. So now I've got all the books in one, one volume at a great price, um, delivered real quick from a good seller, so I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to interject a little previously recorded video here and show you something that my father-in-law sent me. So I'm filming this part of the haul separately and then adding it into the Sunday haul video. Uh, but I wanted to uh, say thanks to my father-in-law um, who sent this along. Uh, a Pioneer, let's see, Pioneer CLD-V2600 laser disc player. So I looked it up and did some research on it and this was billed as a kind of industrial grade uh, laser disc player, if you will, uh, according to everything I've read, used in educational settings, places where it's going to get a lot of in-out use, uh, and just a real workhorse by, you know, everything that I read. Um, I hooked it up tonight. It uh, works great. Um, you, know, you get that laser disc quality it's definitely not uh, dvd or certainly not blu-ray or 4k but really cool um i've never had one uh so i'm happy to have it um it was a collector piece i'm going to integrate it into the entertainment center and hopefully uh, play things on it now and then um so uh the remote i thought was funny uh though this remote this looks to me like the kind of a remote you see in a movie when someone wants an exaggerated remote. This thing is huge. Um, so at least you can't lose it. That's one thing I'll say. This is like eight times the size of my Fire Stick remote, and I'm constantly losing that damn thing. So, uh, but very cool. Thank you. Um, and uh, it'll get hooked up. And now back to the rest of the hall and the laser discs that got sent along with it. And now that we're back from that, I'll show you some of the titles he sent along. So in a previous haul, I showed that he sent me Robocop, Terminator 2, and um, I forget what the third title was, uh, but it's over there on the record shelf now. But this time around, he sent along Robocop 2, uh, The Eraser, which is real cool. So I'll get to that in a second, what that's going to kind of mean for me. Uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, uh, Last of the Mohicans, Spartacus, uh, First Contact, that's one of the real good Star Trek movies, in my opinion, uh, Hearts of Darkness, a, uh, a making of for Apocalypse Now, and For Your Eyes Only. So... Uh, this is really the start of a laser disc collection for me. Uh, I'm not going to get crazy with it. This is probably more variety than I would plan on if I was starting a collection. Um, but what he has given me has definitely told me I am going to track down and collect every Schwarzenegger laser disc I can find. Uh, at a good price, of course, and I am going to go ahead and collect um, all of the John Carpenter laser discs that I can turn up. So I've got a couple on order, or rather shipping in, that I want off eBay auctions for dirt cheap. I'll show those as I get them, but I at least want to have all the Arnold movies, all the John Carpenter movies, uh, that were put out on laser discs. So I don't know why, uh, other than I love Arnold. I love uh, Carpenter. Arnold was actually the first thing I, first and only thing I ever watched on laser disc until I plugged this player up in the living room. And the quality isn't great. I always said if I collected them, it would be for the cover art. But now I think it's just to build those two little mini collections. So. Uh, thanks to him for sending it over. I really appreciate it. Um, it's uh, uh, something I've always been interested in. Fun to play. Kind of like a record, you know. Um, just just interesting to have. Fun to play. And uh, uh, definitely, definitely makes me, uh, makes me smile. So, 
with that that's it for the haul video we'll see you next week hopefully on time this time and there should be a tuesday movie review and a friday figure review coming up your way this week so i'm gonna get back in the groove of making videos on time so like and subscribe if you haven't and i'll talk to you later thanks